This is a simple step-by-step -step guide to installing warm-up undertile heating. This video does not replace the installation manual. So before starting, make sure you have read the manual in your warm-up pack. You will need to measure the area you are working in to order the right warm-up heater for the room. Remember, if you have any questions or are unsure at any point in the installation, call the 24-hour helpline. In your warm-up pack you will find an installation manual, a bottle of primer, a roller and handle, a box of heater wire and some silver tape. You should prepare the subfloor to British standard guidelines. Further help with floor preparation and tile application is available in the installation manual. Then install our optional warm-up insulation boards. The state-of-the-art insulation system greatly improves energy efficiency, saving you money and heating a room up to 10 times faster. Warm-up undertile heating must be wired via an RCD, a residual current device. Any electrical installation work should be undertaken by a certified electrician. For more information, see the installation manual. Before you start, make sure the surface to be tiled is smooth, dry and free from dust and grease. If you are tiling on a floor which already has ceramic or quarry tiles, or has insulation boards installed, you need to clean the floor, but do not apply the warm-up primer. Go straight to step two. Paint the subfloor with warm-up and leave it to dry. Once the primer has been applied, avoid walking across the floor. Double check you have the correct heater. Then, using the sizing guide in your installation manual, read off the wire spacing to fit your heating wire into the area. For example, this room needs a spacing of 80 millimeters between the wires. Mark your start point as close as possible to the power supply, no further than 2.5 meters from it. Then, Mark the outer corners of the heated area and join them up to make the perimeter. The heater must not be laid closer than 40 millimeters to the wall at any point. Refer back to the sizing guide in the installation manual and mark the spacing intervals for the heating wire along the perimeter. These intervals must be a minimum of 50 millimeters apart. The sizing chart provided is a useful guide to heater layout, but you may find it necessary to slightly alter the wire spacing to suit your room. If you are installing two or more heaters, refer to the guidelines in the installation manual. You need to make sure that all heaters start next to the warm-up thermostat and remember, However many heaters you are installing, the wires should never cross. You then join the heaters in parallel at the thermostat, making sure that the wire spacings are roughly equal. Now that the floor is marked, you need to lay out the heating wire. Do not take the spool out of the box as the heating wire will twist. Just pull the cable gently from the box. After three meters, the power supply cable joins the thinner heating wire. Take this joint at your starting point, close to the power supply. Following the perimeter that you have marked out, lay out the heating wire in parallel lines taping it down at the corners. The wire should be laid in parallel lines, back and forth across the area to be heated. Use your spacing marks as tape down points, secure the wire into position with short strips of tape. 
In order to achieve even coverage, you may need to adjust the wire spacing in the room. You can adjust the layout to fit your space or to provide warmth around basins, baths and toilets. When adjusting the layout, make sure that the wire is always evenly spaced. Just remember, don't lay the heater under bathroom furniture. Heating wire should be spaced a minimum of 50 millimeters apart and should never cross. Never cut the wire. The heater should be installed on one level. Never lay warm up on stairs or up walls. Once you've completed the layout, take the entire length of the heating wire to the floor. Use the supplied tape, running your finger and thumb along it, gently squeezing to remove any air bubbles. If the tape doesn't cover the wire completely, apply another layer. The warm-up thermostat is a seven-day digital timer thermostat. You can program different temperatures at different times of the day, keeping your room at the exact temperature you desire. Detailed instructions on fitting the thermostat can be found in the thermostat box and in the installation manual. Wiring and connecting the thermostat to the heater should be undertaken by a qualified electrician. The floor probe measures the actual temperature of the floor, allowing complete, accurate control of the system. If the probe or the power cable sit proud of the subfloor, you may wish to chisel out short channels in the subfloor. The floor probe should be laid at least 300 millimeters from the wall. The power supply cable that you have taped down at the start point contains three conductors, colored brown, live, blue, neutral, and green-yellow, earth. These should be connected in accordance with current wiring regulations. You can test the heater before tiling with a simple multimeter. Check your installation manual for more details. Measurements for each model of heater wire are given in the installation manual. If the heater is not working, do not start tiling. Call the technical helpline on 0845 345 2288. Before you start tiling, check the heater wire is taped securely to the floor. The heater wire is tough, but it can be damaged if you are not careful. If at all possible, lay your tiles immediately after fitting the heater, or cover the floor with ply or board to protect the wire. You must make sure that the tile adhesive and grout you use is compatible with underfloor heating. Refer to the tile adhesive manufacturer's instructions. Lay your tiles as normal taking extra care not to damage or dislodge the heating wire with the trowel. You need to use enough adhesive to ensure that there are no gaps or hollows under the tile. And be careful not to allow the trowel to make contact with the heating wire. If possible, use a plastic trowel. If a tile has been positioned incorrectly, lift it carefully so as not to damage the heating wire. Tiles must not be lifted once the adhesive is dry, as this will damage the heater wire. Do not store tiles on top of the heater as you work. Leave the floor to set for at least seven days to allow the adhesive to fully dry. Then enjoy the unique luxury of warm-up under